show in there um so this is the entrance of her room and over here we have these 3m hooks that's in the brush uh gold that i really love because it's just very simple <laughs> and i didn't have to find like a special rack to hold her stuff so she has her book bag on here she can put like her throw blanket um, her robe anything that she wants to put up there I didn't put nothing up there because I wanted to leave this whole stationary space for as she accomplished more things, wants to put more sports stuff up here and just kind of let her vibe out like I put some touches to it but then I wanted to let her continue to do it. So that is why you will see certain space gaps in this tour. Same goes for over here like giving her room to do what she wants to do. And then I have her calendar 
for her to mark off like important test dates, birthdays, birthday parties, all that fun stuff so she can see it. And also any reminders or anything that she needs to do for school. And then she has her whiteboard and she can also pin stuff right here as well. So I kind of made this like her stationary section if you want to think of it. And so she was on the cheerleading team. This is not the school that she's at right now. So that's why I'm showing y'all um, <laughs> this. So like because I don't care because she doesn't go here anymore. But um, so eventually our goal is that we want to get every plaque like this for the sports. So we'll line them up like that. So I thought that was really cute. And then down here, she has her little stationary section. So I did a cute vase with the pompous grass because I had so much pompous grass come in. I did get this from Amazon. It does not shed. I do like it. I do make, wish that it was more variety of like the white tones in here. But uh, for the most part, I do like it. I got this vase from Home Goods, and then I have her acrylic um, organizer. So it has all her dry erase markers. She put her push pins in here, her dry erase, um, the marker itself, and whatever stationery needs she has. Then down here, she put this binder here because this is for band, so she wants to keep it right here. And then I got these cute little glasses from Home Goods, and then she has her. Frigidaire um, mini fridge. So in here, she said she wanted to keep her skincare one, but she also says she wants to ask for another one for Christmas so she can put it in her bathroom because she has her own bathroom. So in here, I'll probably um, put like, I don't know, I'll try to insert a video, but some people put like uh, candy, water, like little things, snacks for her to have in her room. So I'll probably do something like that. Nothing too major because I don't let them eat upstairs in their room. So. And then this cute uh, stand came from Amazon. So it went very good with what I was trying to go for over here. And then again, like I said, I left space because she'll probably put her instrument from band over here or whatever she wants to do. She'll have room to do it in this section. So that is what you'll see. she'll see when she first walks in. And then over here, because we do not allow TVs in the kids' room, we have a game room, a gathering room, a cafe, um, just TVs down in the basement. We just cut the TVs out in the rooms because we're like, we want to see what y'all watching. And just overall, like, this is their sanctuary. This is where they need to come read, play, whatever they want to do. So I made her, like, a little gallery wall with all the different um, portraits that we found. All of these were found at, at home. If you have not seen our videos leading up to this room reveal, um, I did get these and purchase them at the at home store. So that is where we got that from. And then starting here on her dresser, again, I kept it simple to allow her to do what she wants to do. Um, but for the most part, she like, mom, this is good enough for me. <laughs> so I got these cute candle holders from home goods in the clearance section so i don't know if they'll still have them <laughs> and then i got this cute girl mogul book from dollar tree it was a dollar so it went perfect with the theme and then over here i got this really cute chanel vase from amazon and again i put some of that pumpous grass in here that came from amazon over in this space and then I put her fragrances that she wears on a daily right here. So she loves her Ariana Grande and she loves her Bath and Body Works um, perfume. So, And then this tray came from Target. Turn this around. Okay. <laughs> this tray came from Target. So that's that. And then again, this candle holder matches that set over there. So I got that and then I got her favorite candle um, in the stars, which it happens to be pink and champagne. So <laughs> it worked out. So yeah, that's her, her dresser. And then this dresser I got from Wayfair. It's a really good quality dresser, like not even gonna hold y'all up. I was kind of sad when she was like, mom, I want an Ikea dresser, but it worked out. It, it tied the room in together, so. 
Okay, so this space over here. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about this, right? Because I thought I, I did get the tall pumpkin grass for this vase. However, the vase is too tall. So I need to find a different vase to accommodate this pumpus. So that's why I just kept it in there because I know I'm keeping the pumpus, but it's not going to look like this. So I'm taking this vase back out um, and then I'm going to find her one that kind of is shorter. Um, same width, but shorter. And then I'm going to put the pump the pumpus grass in there. So I just kept that for the time being to kind of fill that space up and show y'all where I was going with it. And then I got this a really cute acrylic rack from Home Goods. I love this rack, y'all. She loves it. She was super excited when we got it. So she'll put her clothes that she is wearing for the day of the week on here. Well, she'll probably do Monday through Friday on here. So, and then she put her ring light back there. And then I also got her a steamer because I know they don't like going. They would rather wear wrinkle clothes then to go and pull the iron board out so i thought this would make it easier and plus it'll be already hanging so she could just take her steamer and steam her clothes and then here this is just decor um this is her throw blanket that when she's chilling on the bed and she don't want to get under her covers she used that so that's why i was saying she could take this blanket and put it over there on the hooks uh then these hooks right here is um to go for her curtains so i'll insert a video of how the curtains look with those on there but basically they pull them back and kind of still give it a neutral I mean not a neutral it gives it a different look but also kind of close her blinds up as well so she really does like that and again it's that brush gold color that we were talking about so this is her little wardrobe corner so i did get some shelves to put up here so that she can have her little knickknacks but again i thought about it i was like i'm gonna leave it like this so that way as she starts to grow into this room she'll have room to put stuff up and kind of decorate and move things around so i might be sending them back but i'll show y'all how they look and we'll see if they fit into the space but they supposed to come later on today and I didn't get a chance to put them up and I wasn't going to hold off recording this video for them shelves. So moving on to these um, curtains. I love these curtains y'all. They had absolutely nothing to do with the theme of this room. But I love that once I got this curtain this started to really get the juices flowing in my head. Because it had this rustic um pink it had the rustic pink and then it had the the subtle pink and I was like I was scared because her bed set is like that pop out pink like that low tone neutral pink and it brought it out in the pom poms and then everything else like this color brought out her chair the accent pillow the rug so it really just a uh, dusty dusty pink that's what it is it's like a dusty rose so it really ties together without me even expecting it and so then over here you can see that this is a different shade of that i don't need my camera there um it's a different shade of that pink so i end up just doing two panels in the middle and those on the end and i really love how they turned out um her curtain rod is that bronze gold so it tied in with everything and then her curtain i mean like her shades is from ikea so it looks like you can see that people can see in but she can see out they can't see in and this is the reason why we went with the double, double curtain so that she could be able to close it because she like it still freaks her out so <laughs> um but these are the roller shade blinds and they just roll up and you can pull them down to stop it like that so yeah that's how they look i like how this whole little space came out so this is what i end up going with because we could not find a wallpaper that she really truly liked so i'm like i'm not gonna waste money putting it up one and two we're gonna be taking it down in a in a few months so <laughs> we end up going with something that again this is we can take it out rearrange it and everything so these mirrors came from ikea that's on the side 
They came from Ikea. These pictures came from the at home store. Looks like they need to be spaced off. I mean, scoot over some. My husband did that. Um, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But those were initially supposed to go in her closet. But she was like, I want it over the bed. Because she wanted... I was thinking about getting her name. And then she was like, no, let's just put the pictures. So, on her bed, she got all her squishies. She loves stuffed animals and squishies. And I actually made her throw out some that she didn't have forever. And these are the good ones that's lasting. So, I did get that. This is for her to hold her um, iPad or phone. This bed came from Ashley's Furniture. I love it. The quality of this bed is immaculate. I love it. I love it. Gabby, get out. Yeah. So it has the bronze and bezels on it. And then it's it has the same detailing over here so y'all can see that we were going with the bronze gray theme that kind of just tied in with her room this big flat fluffy white pillow came from home goods and her duvet cover came from amazon so if y'all haven't seen the videos again please go check those out but these came from Amazon and the insert inside of her duvet came from Ikea. So this also came with her duvet set, the pillowcases. Her sheets is from Target. Then over here, we have her nightstand, which is just simple. She has this um, tray to hold her water bottle at night. She has this simplistic... Um, nightlight or nightstand lamp for her room and then this the her nightstands came from ikea so it's all is a ikea setup oh and these lamps are from walmart she has her drop jewelry where she puts her jewelry at at night with the j so it just ties in with that see this is the problem that we gonna have moving on anyways over here we have her get ready art station homework station type thing <laughs> but i got this vanity mirror from amazon it does change different modes she got this desk from our friend who uh, bought her daughter a different type of desk but I ended up getting it from her and she did get it from uh, Ikea. So I just ended up buying this drawer to go with it from Ikea, which Jay loves. So it hides all like her bonnet, her brushes, her combs, her art supplies. Just, it hides everything. So <laughs> her flat irons, everything. And then this is her jewelry. We looking for her a new jewelry rack, but she really likes this because Shia gave it to her, my niece. So for now it is up here and then i got this cute camera from home goods along with the luxury um books that it sits on top of and then she has her beads because she likes to make bracelets that's something that we got from target that she puts her phone in so she puts her phone in and put it up here so as she do her hair or whatever she's watching her phone this is her poil poilaroid little frame that she got and then her chair again has the gold accent on it with the rustic blush dusty rose color i got this from home goods as well so she really likes that and then moving around is her portrait wall that up here i put the greenery i like it but i had to go back to michael's to get some more to kind of fill in those gaps as y'all can see so if it's looking kind of raggedy right now again i gotta get a piece and i gotta cut it into just kind of fill those gaps so that is what um that that's why it looks like that right now but all of her polaroid pictures that she has from when she was at school just 
when we were building the house she took some some of her teacher on the last day of school her and her friends her granny and she just has everybody up here um so as she continues to take more she has more than enough space to add photos for her um her wall and so we did get this from oh the lights are from amazon and this is two sets of the lights so if you again watched the previous vlog you could see how it looks with one set and then i went in and put this uh second set in between it just to kind of give it that full look so i really like how this turned out they do dangle on the floor so mindful of that and then over here is again her nightstand she has a picture frame i did get this from home goods um she has to put a picture in it her clock came from amazon the same night lamp and the mirror from ikea so and then her rug came from amazon i love this rug i was not i was so skeptical but I was not expecting this rug to look like this. But it tied the room together. And I love it. And then last but not least. Her LED strip lights. I got them off of Amazon. They are a really good feature lights. Like they are pretty good. They do some really cool stuff. I can kind of show you. But So for her LED lights. She has the remote that controls it with all the different options and modes but the only problem with this is that if she's trying to turn it on and she's in bed she has to it's like a sensor right here so she downloaded it on her phone let me see and so this is what the app looks like so she can change it and she can also connect music for it to go with the music and everything so she did get this off amazon and then these are also the remotes that go to her light. So that's the only downfall when you do two separate lights. String lights is that you got to control two remotes. But these usually are standard of how she has them up there. And then my husband has to fix this one because I cut it and did not do it correctly. So he, I, he showed me how I was supposed to do it. So we have some left over from the boys room and we're just gonna connect it in here. So that is her LED lights. Overall, this is Jade's room. She got a bonnet on, she gonna, you gonna come in the camera, Jade? No, she's not, she got a bonnet on. So, I hope y'all liked her. You like your room? <laughs> I hope y'all liked her room reveal and all of the videos it took to get here. But we are finally done. I say we are at 98%. And <laughs> she can put her touches on it. Now, Gabby is messing throwing her markers. Look, look at her. Until next time, y'all, I'll see y'all in next week's vlog for the boys' room. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. This is